Hello and welcome to Cube Simplifier. In this video, we'll be diving through PCA, Prometheus Certified Associate Exam. And also, I'll be giving you a demo of how to push a custom metrics from a simple Python application using Push Gateway to Prometheus. So let's get started. So Prometheus Certified Associate Exam is a new CNC of certification. It is MCQ type, just like KCNA. You have few options to choose from and you can select the right answer. And it's one and a half hour exam with three years of validity. And it, I think there is one retake available as well. It covers five major areas. Now, why this is important? Because whenever you are dealing with systems, and especially the cloud native systems, and with increase in the number of microservices, increase in the number of systems, increase in the complexity of the softwares that we are using, it becomes very important to monitor them, to observe them, to get the right metrics out of them so that we can know when what happened to the system. Uh, for example, when you install Kubernetes or when you have a Kubernetes cluster, there are a lot of Kubernetes components itself that needs monitoring, Like You have the node, you have, uh, you know, Kubelet, you have controller manager, you have API server, all these things itself are there to monitor so that it they doesn't go down uh, because your infrastructure layer should be stable. Your Kubernetes layer should be stable. Then comes your uh, microservices. So you should be able to know uh, when a microservice is going down. Uh, if a microservice is going down, then what is the impact? How, uh, with which exact microservice is getting impact, the slowness, uh, so that you can actually derive some of the metrics, uh, some of the terminologies like SLOs, SLAs, SLIs, uh, the business metrics that are very critical. So that is why observability is important. That is where uh, the most widely used tool in the CNCF ecosystem is uh, Prometheus. And that is why CNCF created a Prometheus Certified Associate exam. Now, coming to those five areas. So first is the observability concepts, uh, which is 18%. Then is the Prometheus fundamentals, which is 20%. Uh, then is the PromQL, uh, Prometheus query language, which is 28%. Next is the instrumentation and exporters, 16%. We'll be doing some uh, instrumentations and we'll definitely be exporting that to uh, via the push gateway. Uh, then is the alerting and the dashboarding, again, 18%. So it, it definitely creates a very good learning path that you can opt to learn observability fundamentals, Prometheus, PromQL, and all those things. And definitely, I'll be giving you all the resources as well, free as well as paid, uh, where to look in, and a demo that I prepared. So first, uh, observability. So observability stands majority on uh, the four pillars, like you need metrics for metrics, you need logs, you need traces, you need uh, profiling with respect to performance. Uh, you should be knowing about the terminologies like SLOs, SLAs, SLIs, the business critical metrics, how you can derive them, how you can compose them, the definitions. So those are the uh, observability concepts. Then moving on to Prometheus. Uh, so Prometheus is a CNCF project. Now what Prometheus is, what is its architecture, how to install Prometheus, configure Prometheus, how to scrape metrics. Uh, we'll be definitely doing that, uh, adding additional scrape target. Uh, what are the limitations? How to do HA Prometheus? Uh, what are service monitors, data models and labels? How labels can help in uh, you know uh, removing the metrics, getting the metrics, and all those things. Then you have the instrumentation and exporters. So for like for different languages, uh, there are different client libraries that you can use to instrument your application. And uh, also how you can use these client libraries to expose the metrics from your application. So you can expose the metrics from your, from your applications. Uh, you can either create a you know, HTTP server from that and add that as a target or you can directly push it to push gateway and but you need to have that push gateway and you need to have prometheus to listen to that push gateway that is the example that we'll be doing today then you have alert manager so uh, what alert manager is alerting is very important uh, so when when you are monitoring something um, now based on certain metrics and parameters you can configure certain set of alerts like if number of requests exceed x then give me an alert uh, if this service goes down or certain metrics start giving uh, other errors, 
apart from uh, the regular 201 it start giving 404 or things like that then send me an alert so you need to know how to navigate alert manager configure the alerts also grafana is a very interesting tool uh, that you can use to actually create very fancy dashboards in kubernetes ecosystem it's very popular uh, so you can definitely use grafana uh, and you how to add data source uh, prometheus as a data source in grafana and create dashboards from that uh, the last part is uh, promql how to query the data so querying the data is important uh, what are the operators like uh, you know equal to greater than equal to then aggregation if you want to have some of certain metrics which is there or maximum of certain metrics which is there so you should know how to do the aggregation what is the histogram what is a sub query uh, so a simple example is uh, in this particular scenario it's max over time and then rate http request total so basically we are getting maximum rate of requests from the last five minutes so that five minutes and a 30 second query interval actually is the sub query so that uh, this particular block this particular block is the sub query block and uh, this metrics will give you the maximum rate of request from the last five minutes with a 30 second query interval the sample range that we have given is 1m and the metrics that we are taking is http request uh, total so that is like you should be knowing how to do the subquery now from an sre perspective or uh, you know kubernetes engineer devops engineer this will help you a lot because uh, in your day-to-day -day activities also you will be definitely dealing with um, prometheus or monitoring solutions then you'll be writing the queries because you have to create those alerts you have to create those metrics you have to uh, you know export them or create dashboards in um, grafana so you will be dealing with all of these now the question arises is whether uh, who should be taking this certification uh, like if you are interested in the observability space then definitely go for it and also if you want a fancy badge uh, getting added to your uh, credly then also you can take this particular uh, certification exam um, i think it's pretty good that cncf is coming up with such curriculums and exams because this gives a structured approach to learn uh, now there can be different resources from where you learn but at least this gives you a structured approach to learn and then obviously uh, that's a simple uh, validation by giving the exam and you know uh, taking all the boxes that you have prepared it right um always remember one thing curriculum keeps on changing uh, you know i have seen that over the years the official always keep an eye on the official cncf curriculum repository so this is the prometheus certified exam and it gives you all five things and what all is expected over there so i have actually covered all these things now from where you can actually learn so let me pull a few resources for you so the first resource would be uh, obviously my youtube channel because it has tons of material on uh, monitoring and observability uh, the first one is the prometheus uh, cncf minutes so CNCF minutes is a very good way to learn about a concept or a topic or a CNCF project in a few minutes. And you can see in this particular video, I'm telling about Prometheus, you know, uh, its architecture, like it's a time series database. Uh, you have a push gateway that you can have targets and you can configure that. You have alerting, you have PromQL and Prometheus web UI, Grafana that you can use for data visualization alert manager to send uh, the alerts to pager duty email and you have service discovery from uh, you can discover discover targets like kubernetes and file and this is the prometheus server that will be there on the node and your tsdb either will be using std or std from the node and how you can configure the uh, external storage as well so go through this video and yeah i actually told you the architecture as well but yeah go through this video and then you should definitely check out uh, the Kubernetes observability workshop on our channel uh, by Michael. Uh, it is, again, a three and a half hour amazing workshop with hands on, you know, uh, starting from scratch, all about observability, Prometheus, hands on session. And it will be really good for you doing all the hands on. Now, these are the free resources, uh, but I want to tell you some paid resources as well, uh, which are really, really good which are from code cloud so code cloud is a platform where you get a lot of great courses its creator is mumshad uh, everybody 
like in the certification world knows Mumshad uh, because of his amazing courses on, uh, you know, CK, CK, DCKs and many more. Uh, but uh, their platform has evolved a lot. And uh, this is the one that I'm talking about, the Prometheus Certified Associate Exam. Uh, and you can see uh, if you browse through course contents, you can actually see, uh, you know, introduction. Uh, you have observability fundamentals that gives you a definition of SLOs, SLIs, Prometheus fundamentals. You get all the basics, installation, architecture, node exporter, configuration, and you also get access to the labs and you how to use it in containers, how to monitor the containers. And then it moves gradually uh, to the prom, PromQL and how you can use PromQL, operators, aggregation, subquery, histograms. And then in dashboarding and visualization, how you can use the expression browser for graphs, etc. Then application instrumentation. Uh, what is it? You know, how you can use labels, how you can instrument your application, uh, a Python application, stuff like that. Uh, then the service discovery is there, a relabeling and with, with a demo and a lab. And then you have, you move uh, to push gateway, how to install push gateway, how to push the metrics using the client library. And then alerting, introduction to alert manager. Alert manager is a very big component, uh, how to configure that. And yes, it also includes a monitoring Kubernetes, like how to install that using Helm chart. Uh, pretty simple. You can actually see this Prometheus uh, Helm chart. Uh, so you can actually use these to install. And uh, yeah, it explains you, gives you a lab, add service monitor, adding rules, scraping, uh, additional scrapings, and then the conclusion. So I think it... It's a complete package for this particular uh, certification that you can definitely take. Um, there is a link in my description. I think you'll get one month free for this particular course. So make sure you check the description box and I have posted the link in the description. Also do check out Code Cloud. Th this video is actually brought to you by Code Cloud. So, so big uh, shout out to them. Now let's move to the demo. Uh, I actually want to show you, you know, something like installation, how it works and things like that. Uh, so what we'll do is I have created this repository. We'll clone this and we'll use killer coda Ubuntu playground. You can actually use the playgrounds from code cloud as well. They have Linux playgrounds, Kubernetes playgrounds and stuff like that. You can actually create, you know, a multi-node playground and launch uh, it'll take a few minutes and you'll be getting the lab as well. But for now, I'm using this and we'll do git clone of this particular repository. This is a plain Ubuntu instance. And I'll go inside rep repository. Let me minimize this. Now here we have a Prometheus setup and the push gateway setup.sh. So in one tab, let's at at least start the setup. So we'll do sh Prometheus sh. And in the second tab, we'll see Prometheus setup. So you're adding the user, uh, creating directories, and then downloading uh, the latest release. This is important, downloading the latest release, uh, moving everything to user local bin, adding the systemd service file, and starting Prometheus. And the most important file uh, over here that you'll be dealing a lot is the etc Prometheus, Prometheus.yaml file, which is the actual configuration file. Uh, so this is installed. We can check system, CTL, status, Prometheus and it should be running. It is running. Uh, now what we'll do is uh, we will set up push gateway. And if I come in this tab, clear it, cat, we can see same stuff which is there, you know, downloading the tar, untar, adding the user, uh, moving it to user local bin and, you know, adding the service file for that and then uh, starting push gateway. So it is also done. We can actually do system CTL status push gateway. It is also running. And now in order for our demo to work, we need to add a Prometheus. Like Prometheus is running. I can show you that. So let's go here in the traffic ports. Uh, Prometheus is running on 1990. So we'll access that. And this is Prometheus. So we can see, uh, you know, min, max, aggregation, what is the function? And then we can see metrics. So all these things are already there. 
if I come and I see the targets, I see one target that it is officially scraping up the Prometheus matrix, the Prometheus endpoint, but we, we would want to have additional targets. So we want to scrape push gateway. For that, we need to edit the Prometheus YAML file that I was describing before. So let's do that, uh, vi slash etc uh, Prometheus and Prometheus camel. We scroll to the end and we have added that. Just check if the indentation is proper, it is. And we do system CTL restart Prometheus. Uh, once again, we can check the Prometheus status. Yeah, it is active and running. Now also for our application to run, we need to install Prometheus client uh, because that is what we'll be using. So we'll do a pip install of that. It is done. And uh, one other module that I'm using, schedule. Now let's look at our application. So it's a simple app uh, that is getting the memory info. So the free memory available on this particular instance, it's, it is getting that info. And in this particular scenario from the Prometheus client, we are using a uh, collector registry, gauze metrics and push to gateway. These two are important. Uh, and obviously this is also important, uh, but you can choose different type of metrics like counter metrics, uh, histogram uh, or gauze, uh, whatever you want to send. And push to gateway is actually what it will be sending to. Our push gateway is running on localhost 1991. Uh, this is the job. Uh, and we are using the registry as the collection collector registry. In the gauze metrics, we are setting every five seconds. We want to get the free memory and we want to set that in the gauze. And then it will be pushing that to the push gateway, which Prometheus is now scraping. So let's run it. Python in .py and this will start running our application and every five seconds it will be getting the free memory. So I have put some print statements just so that it doesn't look blank. Now let's go back again to Prometheus and just refresh this so that we will be able to see that there is one additional target which is a push gateway and that is also up. You can see the state is up. Now let's go here. And we can see uh, we should be having another matrix, which is a gauge matrix and we have free underscore mem. So we can execute that. We should be seeing uh, some entries over there and we can see the graph as well, which will be fancy to see. So you can see over the period of time, uh, you'll be getting a good graph uh, with all the timings that will be going. You can change uh, the graph, how it looks like. And you can try this on your own in any of uh, the playgrounds which is available, either Killer Coda or uh, Code Cloud. Code Cloud also has a um, observability playground of Prometheus and Grafana, which is very fancy that you can use. Um, and these are all the files: uh, Prometheus setup, Push Gateway setup, and Main.py. All the steps are in the repository. So if you happen to try, do give a shout out on Twitter as well that you have tried this demo. So that's it for this particular video. I hope you enjoyed and liked. Uh, the Prometheus Certified Associate new exam. I hope you uh, have some idea of what the exam is, what the exam is about, what it covers, and how it can help you to give a guided structure to learn different things. And there are free resources, there are paid resources uh, that you can opt in, uh, but I do recommend all the three resources that I mentioned in this particular video to go through, and you should be in good shape to uh, give your Prometheus Certified Associate exam. So I think start off the new year with new learnings and you can start off with that. And I hope you enjoyed the demo as well, like uh, sending the custom metrics from your application, instrumenting your application using client libraries and sending that to uh, Prometheus. Uh, so when you install things in Kubernetes, uh, instead of directly having the Prometheus.yaml file, you'll be having a config map that you want to edit and add your additional targets over there. So things change a little bit when you're doing on a system and when you're doing in Kubernetes. So that's it for this particular video. I hope you enjoyed and yeah, if you like, please do the standard stuff, uh, like, share and subscribe, share it in your network uh, and let me know if you got Prometheus uh, Certified Associate certification. Uh, I would be happy to cheer you and also the link of code cloud and uh, to the course are available in the description of the video that you can uh, check and go through uh, their platform. Um, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.